Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning back in. So this is the most played deck currently, this week in Standard. Uh, it makes up for about 20% of the decks uh, in the metagame right now, which is pretty ridiculous. Let's give a quick rundown of the deck. As you know, just by looking, it's Golgari. And there's a lot of variations of this deck. First up, we got four Lana War Elves, obviously for ramp. Two cast downs, destroy target and legendary creature, four removal, Merfolk Branch Walker, play set of them, uh, just so you can get the right cards into your hand. Also, this thing can pump up to a 3 2, uh, but it also, uh, when it explores, you know, you can either get a land in your hand um, or you can uh, just see what's coming up next, basically, and then decide if you want to put it on the bottom or if you want to leave it on top. Assassin's Trophy, three of them. Amazing card. We all know what it does by now. You destroy any permanent. Uh, this has actually won me some games just because of its ability to destroy any permanent, really. Planeswalker, Enchantment, Artifact. Does not matter. If it's a permanent, it can go bye-byes. The only thing it doesn't get rid of are emblems of Planeswalkers. Nothing destroys those. Then we got one Find and Finality. On the left, you get a return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty neat. And the Finality. Uh, put two plus and plus one counters on all creatures you control. And it's a great board wipe. Then all creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. One of those. One Plague Crafter. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who can't discard a card. Uh, I haven't had it where they had to discard a card yet, but uh, maybe I just didn't make it that far into the game. I'm not sure. But it's, it's a nice little easy three drop, and it makes them sacrifice. So let's say all they had was a Carnage Tyrant up. Yeah, you can't target Carnage Tyrant with this thing because that's hexproof, but... They will have to end up sacrificing a card, and if that's the only creature they have on board, they have to sacrifice it. One copy of Plague Crafter. Four Jade Light Rangers. If you're running green, you're almost always running a Jade Light Ranger and a lot of elves. They kind of go hand in hand. Even Merfolk Branch Walker has been appearing numerous times in any green deck. Uh, the, the good old explorability. It's just amazing. Do it twice. Ravenous Chupacabra for uh, a creature out on the field, but definitely for its removal ability. Three of those. Three Golgari Fine Brokers. Here's where the deck gets a little interesting for those of you who aren't aware how this works. So when Golgari Fine Broker enters the battlefield, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. It's going to combo amazing with the Eldest Reborn here. This will be one card you would have no problem returning it back to your hand because you can continuously just loop this, you know, with the Endless Reborn. As long as you get another Golgari Fine Broker out there, you're constantly returning this card to your hand, and it just keeps going and going and going. It's pretty nasty. Uh, but what that does is you're going to run three of those, three of the Golgari Fine Brokers. Elders Reborn, each opponent sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker. Then they discard a card. And then put target creature or Planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's how you're able to keep getting the Golgari back. And then you just run this card again. I mean, it's like an endless loop, really. You just got to be able to cast them. Vraska, Golgari Queen. We're running a play set of these. Or not play set, I'm sorry, three of these. Uh, the plus two, you may sacrifice another permanent. I mean, when it gets down to it, we can sacrifice lands and whatnot that we just don't need. And if you do, you gain one life and draw a card. Card advantage is huge. It's minus three, destroy any, uh, or destroy target nine land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. That's great. That's one games alone. And then it's emblem. Uh, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. I, I haven't been able to pull that off yet in a game. I think I did, but then the, the person quit. There was one match I pulled it off, but they ended up quitting. So three copies of that. The Eldest Reborn, three copies. One Vivian Reed. This has helped a bit. Uh, just a way to get the right cards uh, into your hand or get like the creature cards you need into your hand. Uh, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. That's pretty cool. And then you get an emblem with creatures you control. Get plus two, plus two. And have ridiculous amounts of abilities like Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Pretty cool. One copy of Vivian. One copy of Carnage Tyrant. Trample and Hexproof. Great against uh, your blue decks. Might even consider running another one on the sideboard, honestly. Uh, Vraska Relic Seeker, uh, create a 2-2 black pirate creature token. Kind of just puts a creature out there, honestly. Uh, but having a menace is pretty nice. And then destroy target artifact creature enchantment. Just uh, heavy removal in this deck. Uh, and then we just come out uh, swinging with some tricks um, and just end up winning the game, basically. Eight swamps, eight forests, four overgrown tombs, four woodland cemeteries. Sideboard action, three duress. One Argyle's Bloodfast, three a Moment of Craving, one Wild Growth Walker, two the Find of Finalities, a little extra, two Vasca's Contempt, and Planeswalkers, man, they're crazy, and an Izani Thousand Eyed. 
just one copy. So that's the whole that's the whole kit and caboodle. Let's get into some gameplay. If you enjoy these kind of videos, these deck techs, make sure you thumbs up the video. Uh, also, this is the number one deck uh, this week. Also, um, that played in uh, was it PPTQ? Sure. So yeah, it's definitely a, a, a good deck. I mean, those are all over the place. Um, you know, to get into a tournament, uh, bigger tournaments, you got to win the qualifier. That's what that is all about. Well, let's get into it. All right, let's try to take our opponent through a loop. It's kind of like the whole idea of this deck. Yeah, we'll keep it. We got ramp. A ramp is something. We got one of the key components here. So basically, you want to use Golgari Fine Broker to retrieve your Eldest Reborn and just keep doing the loop. Or you just keep bringing stuff back. And looping them around, huh? We're gonna go overgrown tomb this time. Have it enter tapped, drop our lava war. And we'll swing in for one damage. Opponent's running red green. We get another Lana War Elves. Unbelievable. Yeah, we don't really want to use our we don't want to use our fine broker at all right now. Pointless. Yeah, he's a 3-4, but we want to use him to return something that dies. Hopefully we can draw into an Eldest Reborn. Merfolk. Mer. We can get a sneak peek at something good. Probably another line. Oh, no. I, don't know. Um, I guess we'll keep that just for now. Uh, going to combat. We have a lot. Who cares? We might as well swing in. You can take out one of our Lawnmower Elves. We'll sneak in two damage. We got enough mana out to cast anything we need right now. And a Swamp in hand, so... It was worth it to me. Very interesting deck here. It almost seems confused. Chupacabra. You can use to take out a wayward. Don't want that thing sitting too long. And then we'll swing in for our 3 2. Right meow. Probably could have waited and done the Chupacabra, but that had too slow. We'll always get 3 damage in on him. Jade Light. Two lands, so he doesn't pump up the J light. Drake's the treasure map. Treasure map's a good card. Draft the Vraska, nice. So we are definitely gonna go into Vraska right now. Stand down or prepare to We're gonna get some of these guys out. Just trying to go for the win, really. Fight them, you maggots! It almost sounded like she said something there, didn't she? It almost sounded like that. I'll attack with just my Chupi. Can always bring it back. No, did nothing. All right, we're still waiting on our Golgari to do something with him. Her. Her. Him. Him. Hard to say. Really hard to say. Oh lordy, we can bring that back now with Golgari. That's cool. We'll take action. Sure, why not? Against the forest. Now, it's not exactly the plan we, we had in mind, but we'll take it. Treasure mapping. Ear scratching. Nice. Okay. I mean, we can really... Put some pressure on him right now. We should. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna minus three of this. Wherever I go, I leave bodies. We're gonna take wake. out this feller. Well, why not? And then we can go Gari Fine Broker. Grab up Roscoe. 
and then swing in three attackers. Opponent's at six. This could be game soon if he doesn't do something big here. That treasure map does go nice with Frenzy. He's like, yes, I'll take another treasure map. Looks like we could win this one next turn. Possibly. Yeah, we drop this, destroy, that's it, game over. Oops. Oh, that kind of slowed things down just a tad. Its loss will serve us. Do we sack for card advantage? No. All right, Braska. Do thing, girl. Man. Do. All right, we got that one. Sweet. Count it. I almost want to keep it how it is. I mean, not much is going to aid us here. Maybe some. I mean, maybe the Argyle's blood fast to draw some cards. Maybe. I could see that. I think that would really be about it. Call me crazy, we're gonna take out one Alana War for that. Let's run it. Up against Yeti. Not terrible. We're gonna keep this. I mean, there's better options out there, but it's not terrible. We need some lands, though, for sure. Hopefully our Merfolk and our Ranger lead to some lands drawn. Treasure map already. Carnage, cool, but far from casting that. I almost want Assassin's Trophy to um, his, uh, map, but it's kind of too early for that. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on the library so we can get some creatures out quick. So I know he's not dabbling with too many creatures, really. I'm sure he changed it up and has removal in his deck. The old scavenger, eh? That might be something to get rid of, honestly. I guess we cast it down. Yeah, why not? Let's cast it out. We'll see ya. Let's attack his artifact. Why couldn't you attack someone's artifact? You ever think about that? Why can't you attack an artifact? You can destroy artifacts. I mean, why can't like, our merfolk over there and say, you know what, I'm gonna beat up your artifact. You know, now it's now it's broken. Like, you can't play with your broken artifact anymore. I defeated it. It's garbage. Throw it in the trash. Be done with it. We're gonna need a land here, guys. Not a land. Well, luckily, we can at least do this. Hopefully, we get a land. If not, we have to just graveyard anything we draw. I hate to do that. We got a graveyard though for a land sake. And then maybe we'll just win with uh, <laughs> exploring. I mean, we do have another Assassin's Trophy, so next turn we technically could get in. If he doesn't drop a creature, he'll be at 8. If we Assassin's Trophy a creature, well, if he does uh, drop a creature, we can Assassin's Trophy. We can Assassin's Trophy, why not? I don't see why not. So we got the Swamp. Or I mean, we could do that. He can't do anything with that yet, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to a double attack. Two attackers. Damage. And then I think we might as well play craft it, right? Yeah, just to get rid of that thing. Just get rid of it now, who cares? Um, we'll just drop. We'll just kill play crafter. There we go. Opponent's at eight. You can't even say thank you when someone's like, nice. You're like, oops. I mean, what do you say? Hello. Good game. Almost when you say good game, it's like you're being rude. You know? All right. We draw into a land next turn. We're doing phenomenal. All right, now that thing's active. Well, we just assassin's trophy it. Uh oh, spaghettios. Hey, you don't, you don't touch that. All right, didn't really get what we wanted here. I guess we could just cast it down and then swing for three and deuce. 
didn't get the land we wanted. Which is a major bummer. Soon he's going to have to be forced to block or he will lose. And if we draw a land next turn, Ravenous Chupacabra, I'm assuming he's going to drop something big here. Maybe not. Whoops. Yeah, he needed to gain that life. I think that's what he was going for. Three cards in hand. Oh, Ritual set. Brutal. We're gonna, okay, we can, nope, we can't even Jade Light next turn. This is trouble. We need a land. Or we are devastated. Did not get the land. Ah, oh, man, really? This is bad. Now everyone's like, see, you shouldn't have got rid of Lana War. Well, you know what, Bill? You're probably right. That Lana War could have, could have won the game with just a Lana War out. Oof, this is getting ugly quick. He doesn't really have any threats. I mean, he really doesn't. I'm gonna hold off. Give me a land. Crikey, mate! I mean, we're gonna have to discard this anyway. Jeez. Almost. Get to that point. Really need a land. Really need a land here, guys. Right, we're, in, we're in some deep doo doo. There's a land. Okay. So now we can ravenous. Taking out Ranger. Now we got a creature out. And we can do that again next turn, which is amazing. And then we can do it again with Golgari after that. Let me just keep on bringing crap back. Good game. Good. G okay, he, he wants to concede already. All right. I'm not, his deck, I'm not sure what exactly was going on with that, but it's something. Unless he's going to be able to kill me with a blast. That could happen here. Um, he could deal lethal damage to me next turn. If he has the one red card, I think. He can pump it up. Nope, he doesn't have it. That's it. Alright. Well, that was in competitive constructed. Um, we had fun. That was cool. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, guys. I appreciate it. This is the number one deck being played right now. Thought I would show it off. Really quick, uh, that was our reward for winning that. We got all these decks and all these cards. That's not a bad reward. So there's that. All right, guys. I don't like... Uh, I really don't like that. This is better. Yeah, sure. Cast something down, huh? Got a little bit of ramp here. Got a bit of night deck. Miss your guys' face. You probably didn't miss mine much. I'm sorry. Smack her line of war. Bam! Smack him. Opponent coming in. Uh, no blocks. He doesn't need our ramp. He's probably going to take out our elves any moment. I guess we're going to Jade Light now, but odds are that's going to be taken out. Good old Boris. Our opponent gets rid of our Lana War Elves. And our Jade Light still hits the battlefield. Two lands. That's what I'm talking about. Really needed that, actually, considering what all we have to cast here. Cool that flash. Now we probably can enter this tap. Should we attack our Jade Light? It ain't doing nothing else, I'll tell you that. Might as well. Because then we can always use our uh, Vine Broker here to retrieve them. Even though it's really not the best case scenario we want to retrieve. Opponent chose not to take it out. Mm. A Johnny. Welcome, a Johnny. Welcome. You can be a pain. It is good to see. Assume he's gonna plus one. Give his bodyguard a little something, something. Bodyguard should be built. Should have a bit of toughness, some strength. 
Opponent chose not to attack. That was kind of weird. Should we just cast that down? No, we'll wait for something bigger to come out. Opponent does not come in. Woodland Cemetery is welcome. Nothing here to do. I just can't... I can't pull anything out of there. I mean, I guess we just attack. Do Swan, baby. I guess we'll go after him, too. Why not? More than likely our opponent will block. No, I don't think he will block. Very well. At least we didn't buff him up. What? We have fun. Opponent plays a mountain. Making his bodyguard even bigger. I'm very tempted to cast it down, but Eldest Reborn next turn will work just as well. But maybe he'll drop another creature. We'll see what he does. I'm going to play this by ear here. Opponent does nothing here. All right. We can play a good old... We can. I, mean, I guess we might as well. Eldest Reborn. Too bad we have nothing right now in the graveyard. That's going to be kind of a waste if we play that. Should we wait to get to Vraska's Relic Seeker? I think we should, actually. Don't want this thing getting too big, though. It might be in our best interest to Ellis Reborn. I think we'll cast down for now. That works. All right, now we can't just go after as a Johnny. Pass the turn. Interesting flow of the game here. We are about to get out some big old uh, planeswalkers here soon. You are capable of more than you assume. Point still is not drop something big. Man, we probably want to go this route first. Yep. You and the Vivian. This is called doing the Vivian. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. We might have enough to take that sucker out right now. We don't know. Here it comes. Now we're getting started. You can't stop nature. Oh, hello, Carnage. We want you, baby. Babe, I want you, babe. If you got another drop, another two dropper, we can take out our Vivian. Alright, perfect. Now we can Eldest Reborn. And we can get his uh, Exemplar, really. Strength is born of struggle. That is just wonderful. If that sucker had haste, oh my gosh. Like, really, I, and I've said that a couple times in videos, but oh my gosh. That would seriously be nasty. We are going to Eldest Reborn right now. We ain't playing around. Hopefully nothing destroys our enchantment here. That is bye-bye. Nice. Now we can do this again. Balance comes. Ooh. We don't really got anything in the graveyard yet. I guess we can Eldest Reborn again with it. So there's that. Another fine broker. We'll take it. We're totally going to grab up this, this player right here. Deliver us to victory. Johnny's getting big here. We're going to have to do something about that. Those lifeline cats are going to be nasty. Nope, I think we have to go this first. We just have to. we got to put some pressure on this Johnny. Probably should have done that last turn, but I really wanted to get rid of... Is it really? I should have done that. I, yeah, I did it kind of. I played it backwards. I will not kill, but they. He didn't waste a moment with that. Now these lifelink tokens are gonna keep him alive. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to grab up his. That was a mistake, for sure. The option wasn't there to look in his graveyard. It just popped up mine. First time using that card. Fail. Hmm, graveyard. Another land. I guess we can play that again. We gotta get a Vraska out. We gotta do something here. You need to be taken down. Make your cap 
These pirate tokens will keep us going, baby. Murphil Branch Walker. Yeah, I guess. Just to make more creatures out there. We'll live with that. One attacker, 7 6. And he has no way to remove it. Opponent's down to 17. Some lifelink. If he buffs them up, we could be in some trouble. Target, target opponent's life becomes one. Um, Alright, we got rid of our overgrown tomb. That is sad. That is really sad. An opponent concedes. Alright. I like this deck. I really do. Good matchup. 